Hi, this is Jim, and we're going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to add content to our new platform sites. This is for a news article, so it's pretty simple. Um, gonna, first thing I'm going to need to do if I'm a brand new user, I've never used the site before, is I need to create an account. So we're going to go up here. Uh, I'm going to choose to use the connect with Google option. You could connect with Facebook. You can also create an account. If you do create an account, you're going to need to validate your email before you'll be able to actually submit any new content to the site. Uh, connect with Google. It's going to ask me which account I want to use. I don't believe I've used this account before. We'll see. Um, might have, but good. I'm just a regular old user. Okay, so let's see. We're going to hit click create. We're going to wait for the create page to load because it does load quite a few categories, so it takes a little while to load that. We're going to leave it set selected here on article. The other things are photos, poll, and video, but since we're not doing, and you can actually add videos to uh, regular articles as well, but um, for the the point of this article, it's a news article, so we're gonna we're gonna load uh, or we're gonna leave it here on the article thing. I'm actually gonna copy over an article we put on the site a few months ago. This um, Haynes uh, Naval Gunboat. So I'm just gonna type in my uh, title there. I'm gonna for categories, we're gonna type in start typing in news, and you can see we get news, new events, new vendor new, vendor news reissued kits. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and choose vendor news, although even a vendor could put in, say, new kits. Uh, but this is obviously about a book, so that works. And then uh, for Haynes, we can just type, tarp, start, type, start typing in Haynes, and we'll get their, their, uh, their name will come up there. Uh, and then over here in tags, I'm going to go ahead and put book, just because it's a book. And then we'll go back to the article, and I'm just going to copy and paste, say, the, the top thing right here, and paste that in. And then for the uh, rest of it, we're going to just type, uh, copy and paste this in and put it down here at the bottom or in the next field down. So this field uh, that says article entries that says text, you, I could put a title that's an optional element, but you can just go ahead and type it in and it'll show you like that's how it works. And then we're going to add an image and you click add image down here at the bottom. And then actually I could do it, the other way I can do is pick a preview image, which is up here. And that preview image will be the book title or the book cover. And let's see, go to desktop. And there it is. And I saved it earlier. And click that. And now it's going to go ahead and load that. Now that'll show up on preview panes, but I don't think it actually shows up in the article page. So for for the sense, for the sake of actual people on the actual article, um, let's go ahead and I'm going to click save as drafts just so you guys. Oh yeah. Uh, Oh, okay, this is a little bit of a glitchy thing, just so you know. If you add one of these elements, like I did here, right? I've added this image element, and then you don't put anything in it, you need to delete it. So, because you, you can't do any of these things until you, you fill that, that thing. It's just the way they coded it. But, um, so now I've saved that as a draft. You can actually go up here, we'll, we'll show this feature off, and go to your draft posts and see how that shows up. Now, the reason I did that was just to show you that the image doesn't actually show up on this page. It would show up on the home pages or so forth, but so you want to kind of probably have the image in there twice, basically, for something like a book or anything that you want to, you know, feature in the article. So we'll go ahead and do go back to add image again. We'll put that image in there. And that image will now show up on the page with the news article. It'll be fairly large, but yeah, it'll be there. Um, these actually are sortable, so you can actually move the image to the top if you wanted to. Like this, the image would be at the top, and then the text would be below it. So we're going to go ahead and do that and click Save Changes, and then it's there. And you can view it. Uh, it says waiting for your approval here, so you can see that basically an editor has to come in and, and actually validate the article and make sure... Uh, oh, I have an interesting username. You know, that, that happened because I'm in there twice with Jim Starkweather, so yeah, that's an additional one for me. Um, so anyways, uh, yeah, so that's, that's basically how it works. Uh, when people, um, when, when it's actually posted here, I'll, I'll just show you how, how that part works. But when people finally post, uh, the, the article, um, an editor, which this user is, will go into the admin panel here. He'll go into waiting approval and he'll find your article. He'll click, um, assuming everything's okay. Let's assume he's already looked at it. He'll click approve. And then once it is actually on the site, it'll show up here, just like this, Navy, Navy, Royal Navy gunboat. And then the article will show up with uh, a discussion link that it's actually loading right now. But the discussion uh, will automatically be created in our forums. So for example, if I go to our forums right now and click on 
uh, the home page, uh, you'll see that that article is linked into our forums automatically here and, and a link goes directly to it. If I go ahead and reply to this, uh, I'll just put uh, an older news article uh, we added last month or added in uh, August, I believe. So I'll just reply on that myself. And then if we go back to that page, you'll see that my uh, remark shows up down here in the bottom. So um, anyways, you can uh, basically do this very quickly, very easily. Uh, multiple images can be loaded. I could have put in five or six images very quickly. And uh, again, sizing kind of is important. I'm not sure this is the best way to, to put in the image uh, like this with a huge book image. Probably a slightly smaller book image for the cover and maybe larger images for something you know, more important context-wise would be good. Uh, but yeah, we're going to probably play around with this over as time goes on and, and, and try to refine it so that it gets better. But keep in mind that these sites kind of scale. So for example, you know, so you can see the image actually goes down. So if, if I were on a phone or an iPad, now this is what people are going to see. And not only that, but it skips to next content. So the site is a lot better in terms of scrolly, scrolly, um, you know, uh, future, future tech, technology stuff. And that's one of the reasons we're switching to this platform. So um, another example is everybody can, like, I can link this uh, to my Facebook page, to Pinterest, to Twitter. Uh, or send it via email, uh, so it's very easy for people in, in social media to to link to these and basically um, and do that and get a lot of uh, kind of uh, cross uh, cross support. So, all right. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope you learned something. And uh, we'll try out adding some content to our new site, whether that's a news article, a review, a feature, a photo article, videos, or whatever. Just post in the new forums. So, thanks for watching again, and we will see you next time.